Hey guys, it's Kendra. <laughs> What are you doing? So today I'm showing you how to make a DIY shave cream. Now you can obviously make this for yourself, but I thought with Father's Day right around the corner, it'd be the perfect gift. So for the one I'm making today, I'm going to use scents that are a little bit more clean and manly, but if I was making this for just me, I would probably use lavender and rosemary, something very soothing and kind of spa-like, but you can definitely just change it up depending on your scent preference. So you will need some extra virgin olive oil. This one is my favorite. I get this all the time. I always have a backup of this on hand. And you will also need shea butter. This is certified organic. I like this because it's just pure. It's a pure product and I want this DIY to be as natural as possible. Next you will need coconut oil. Again, I like to get a certified organic coconut oil and also I like it to be non-GMO. And you will need some essential oils. So here are a couple that I would recommend. I'm using eucalyptus today because it's a very fresh and clean scent, but I think the lavender and rosemary would be really good together. Also, Orcasia has some blended oils. So this one is called Tranquility and it smells amazing, but definitely just cater this depending on your preference. So first on the stove, you want to create a double boil. So I have a pot on the stove with some water and that you want to bring to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer and then take a glass bowl and put it on top, but make sure the bottom is not touching the water. And then once you have that all going, you can start adding in your ingredients. First, you want to add a half a cup of coconut oil and then a half a cup of shea butter. Now the shea butter is going to melt a little bit slower than the coconut oil. So I like to just break it apart into smaller pieces so that it incorporates a little bit quicker. And then you just wanna mix these together until it is completely melted. So once everything's all mixed together, remove the bowl from the heat, and then you wanna add a quarter cup of olive oil, mix that together, and then transfer that bowl into the fridge for a few hours till your mixture is a little bit more solidified. Ideally, you want the consistency to be like soft butter. Then you wanna transfer your ingredients into a mixer and mix for about three minutes until you get some peaks that are forming. And as you're mixing this, that's when you wanna add your essential oils. So it depends how strongly you want it to be scented. I think I added about 10 drops. It just really, you can just smell it as you're adding it in. So then keep blending this until it's the texture and consistency that you want it to be and then you are completely done. So the last thing you wanna do is scoop this into an airtight container and you can see how luxurious this looks. I think when you whip it, it just makes it look that much better. And keep in mind that when you are using this, when you apply it to your skin, it will change into an oil. That's just because of the nature of these ingredients. When they're in contact with your skin, it's going to warm it up and change it to an oil. That's normal, that's what's supposed to happen. But it feels so soft and moisturizing on your skin. It's, again, it's all natural. It's pure ingredients and I think it's just a really simple and kind of fun thing to make. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this DIY. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. So this video I'm going to talk about everything. I'm going to talk about kind of when Andrew and I started trying, um, kind of like the backstory, and then the two week wait, which is the worst, the worst time of the month ever. Oh my gosh, I, I would like dread that time every month.